yeah you can start the first okay so knowing about that the vulnerabilities that we can have on the docker if we are not very careful we talked about number one resource limiting and containment number two we talked about accessing host resources and number three we talked about uh, uh, reverse shell access so let's take uh, one by one into the demo so i'll go ahead and specify a simple example for limiting resources based, based on PID, right? So let me uh, pull up the terminal. So here is the terminal, and I'm gonna increase the font size a bit for you to be able to see. And uh, I would need one more terminal. So uh, on the second one, I'm going to run a stats so that you can see what is the statistics. Uh, Docker stats, okay. So we'll keep on seeing here how many pids and how many things are running in here. And here I'm going to say Docker um, ITD uh, Docker run ITD um, Alpine. Okay. So here is one pid that is created for the current Docker that I'm running, and uh, I'll do a Docker PS to see the container ID. So here is the container ID that I have. Now I'm gonna get into the Docker. And take a shell prompt over it. So here is uh, when you see that there are two pids now, one my shell and the other one was Docker. Now if I do a sleep command or six, you see the process, one more process has been created and so on, so forth. We can keep on creating as many processes as we want. So it is a good idea that we tell uh, the Docker to actually run, see the number of processes getting increased time and again. So it is a good idea to uh, take a fair amount of guesstimate to what we are trying to access and uh, uh, be able to control how many processes we can uh, create in the similar uh, order we can also create for uh, uh, we can also create for CPUs and memories so right now I'll stop this container and rerun it with limitations uh, and I'll use the okay and then I'll wait for that to end. The Docker stop hasn't happened. Okay. Now, since it has happened, I'll run the same command uh, that I did for execution with other additional parameter uh, that is Docker run itd with hyphen hyphen pids hyphen limit. Let me put the limit to six, and then um, you can see. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, the PIDs on the Docker stats here, they have gone zero because the container doesn't exist anymore. Now there is one container that has come in and this container is uh, available. I'm gonna do a Docker PS again to get the new container ID. And here I have, and I say Docker EXEC ITD container ID and SH. So, Sorry, not the ITD, just IT. Uh, okay. Let me stop this and do that again. In the meanwhile, let me type the command. So I get this running, I get docker ps, I get that new command container id and then docker exec 
paste an ID and a search and I get the shell here now you see there are two and now I still sleep six and sleep six and sleep six this should be fine because the limit is still within it is five processes only I'll go ahead and do the same command again and you see that it is back to this and so if you try doing this it says can't fork resource temporarily unavailable so pid pool is out and you see six are there but then after that six everything is out and you cannot create any more processes so this was to do with how do we limit our uh, process uh, stuff right i'll uh,